All right, I guess I might as well make my version of the uh, steering recall on the new Hondas. Um, our recall is probably different from the U.S. recall. I feel like Honda U.S. and Honda Canada are like two different people. They just decide two different things. So uh, here's my version of uh, doing the steering rack recall on the uh, CRVs, HRVs, Civics, and uh, whatever... Uh, <laughs> else it affects CRV or Civic hybrids, Civic non non hybrid. And uh yeah. So typically what I do is disconnect the steering shaft cuz how they want us to do it is remove the uh subframe. So what I like to do so I mark the uh the little sleeve, right? With with the the steering shaft, or not the steering shaft, the pinion shaft. So I make the two lines. So once I take that off, even if the sleeve moves or anything, I'll just line it up back with the same line on the steering steering shaft or steering. Oh, it's, it's morning, sorry guys, <laughs> I can't think right now. Uh, I was at the hospital for like a good seven hours uh, dealing with uh, the missus. Uh, you know, pregnancy stuff, I guess. We got kind of uh, freaked out because she's five, she's five weeks pregnant apparently from what the doctor says. And then she had stomach pains and then she had a lot of blood come out. So yeah, I got, I got kind of scared there too. So we rushed to the emergency one day and then they wanted us to get an ultrasound and then wait in the emergency for a little bit more. But apparently it's still there, so hopefully for the best, you know, hoping, just hoping. But anyways, so mark the steering shaft. Gonna, gonna put the seatbelt through the steering wheel because there's no steering wheel lock. Yeah, seatbelt through the steering wheel. Uh, I'm gonna remove that 10 millimeter bolt down there. I like to disconnect the battery. Get something to go over that negative terminal because you don't give you much space because it's connected there. All right, so you gotta remove the skid plate. That's probably the the, the most tedious part. Uh, I disconnect the lower uh, torque mount. Two bolts for the uh, exhaust right here, right? And then uh, disconnect your connections right over here. Pull that guy out that connector out right uh, we're gonna have to remove this heat shield but before we do that we're gonna take all the bolts around the subframe and we're just gonna drop it we're gonna leave the tie rod lower control arm and the steering uh, uh, sway bar link uh, all it's gonna do is just gonna hang and then I just do my thing and then stick it back up and then we're done okay, so before I take the subframe down the thing we we're trying to get at because we have to remove the subframe is uh, this little cap down here. Uh, I think some people on the internet says that you can just remove this control arm and then Honda gives you a tool to take that cap with a very narrow socket on it, but we don't get that kind of leisure, so uh, we drop the subframe. And then we also have to remove this cap up here, which I can do here without taking a subframe off. So subframe is down. What we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna unbolt the steering rack that bolt, well, you actually just take one bolt off there. There's the, this bolt, there's one on the other side, and then there's another one on the other side of that. And then what I do is I lift it up, stick a piece of wood under there so it supports it, take that cap off, replace the little tiny spring that they want us to replace. Also, take this cap off. They want us to smear the grease, to smear the grease around that's inside and stick it into the worm gear. Uh, they don't give us extra grease, and, some, and a lot of times what I've noticed is there's hardly any grease in there, so, but they don't give us any more grease. Uh, other than that, after I do, do all of that, once I put it back up, I make sure all the bolts line up with the exact spot that it came out of. So as you, as you can see, you can see the little imprint of where the bolt used to be. So that's how I line it back up, put everything back together, uh, do an alignment, and then, uh, yeah, do it on a test drive, make sure the steering wheel is straight, and then we're good. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do all that. I'll show you what it looks like underneath this uh, cap. Hopefully there's grease in there. All right, 
right, as you can see, there's plenty of grease in there. So what the bulletin says, because all the grease comes out, it causes the notchiness. I don't know. I've only read the bulletin once. I just went through it. I just need to know how to do it. But what they want you to do is take the grease, right? Shove it into that worm gear down there, right? But my question is, if it all squeezed out because this thing spins, doesn't it come back out again? <laughs> That's my question. And then they want you to get the extra grease to put the new, uh, to, to hold the new spring in place while you thread that, the new one in. And then some of the grease to lube the uh, O-ring. So, yeah. So that's what they want you to do. Push it into that worm gear down there. Uh, can't see it? There, it's in this little hole here. So that's what they want us to do. Uh, this all, all this grease will probably fling back out anyways after a couple of uses. But like the HRV didn't have much grease in it to shove in there. So I'm gonna grab some of this grease, save some of it so I can use it later for the spring. All right, steering rack is off. I stuck the piece of wood like I said I would do. And then there's the triple square. Bulletin says it's an Allen, but it's a triple square. Let me, uh, got a wobbly extension on this thing. Make sure I can get it in there. All right, there we go. Pull the plug, there should be a spring and a little thing in there, right? Oh, dropped it. See, there's a little spring and a little thing. Just throw it in the garbage. And then we put the new one in. So with that extra grease, they want you to put some on it so it'll stay in place. Right there. Richmond, there's the three car crash. Highway 99 northbound just not Put this guy on. Right just put some grease on the end there. Put that on. So what the grease is gonna do is it's gonna hold that spring there. That's gonna go into there. Can't see. Go into there, make sure it's threaded in. And then before you completely thread it all the way in, they want you to put some Honda Bond on the thread so it seals it. All right, so got that started. Uh, grab some Honda Bond, get it on the threads, and then zip, back in. Hit that bell. And then, yeah, there you go, cap's back on. I just smear it onto the cap. There you go. Now we put everything back together, all the bolts back in, and then, yeah, basically we're pretty much done. All right, so pretty much it here. Uh, right now I'm just doing the initialization for uh, in the ABS, doing the all sensor learn because I disconnected the battery and the uh, steering rack, so I lost all the memory and stuff. So yeah, pretty simple recall, just to show you what it's all about. Uh, I guess the next recall we're gonna get is the uh, high pressure fuel pump recall for it leaking and catching on fire or something. Uh, we haven't, it, it just came out, so not too sure what the bulletin is about until uh, I actually get one and do one. But other than that, if you enjoyed my video, I thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, check the description. I got my Amazon affiliate store, I'm gonna go check that out, it'll help me, help me greatly. You guys, uh, you know, use my link down below. And uh, yeah, see you next time.